Hey guys, I got the baby down for a quick nap and we just finished folding the laundry so I wanted to show you our diaper stash um, and sort of set up. So we've been using cloth diapers since she got home from the hospital. Um, I went ahead and invested in a, uh, a newborn stash because I figured we'd get started that way. Unfortunately she was a very small baby. She was um, 6 pounds 8 ounces when she was born. So she is currently 7 weeks and just about 10 pounds and still technically fitting into these. Um, but it's not going to be much longer, so this is sort of a transitional thing going on right now. So for her newborn stash here in the top drawer, we've been using Oh So Cozy Prefolds. Um, they're the ones with the yellow stitching. I got these on Amazon. We got three dozen of them. Probably would have been okay with only two dozen um, because we have never come close to running out of these before we had to do laundry. And even in like the early days when we were doing laundry every day, it wasn't because we ran out. It was because we ran out of room in the pail, really. Um, so I have those in the drawer here, and uh, sometimes we need to, you know, throw extra ones in the crib. The crib is not being used for sleep just yet, um, so we're just using it for sort of some storage stuffed animals, and this is actually where we keep our, um, for now, the uh, disposables that we use in a pinch when we're out and about for more than a few hours or whatever. Those are here. Anyway, um, so yeah, sometimes I'll, I'll put some of the extra pre-folds in the crib um, if you know we're running out of room because there's limited space. So the covers we're using are these Rumperoos. These are the newborn covers and they fit up to about 15 pounds according to the marketing. So we've got six of them. There's one that's white that she's wearing right now. Um, and then we've got this blue one, this pink kind of, I don't know what color that is, sort of a melon color. This one is one of the Tokidoki ones. My husband's cousins are really into Tokidoki, so I, I got one of these for that. <laughs> and then this one I think is called, it's either called Bonnie or Clyde. There's two of them that have these fox print. And then this one has a sort of, I don't know, plaid, multicolors. One thing I like about this particular diaper is that if you see the snaps here, there's a blue, a row of blue ones, orange, red, and then red, orange, blue, so you can um, tell which ones are the middle really quickly and easily without having to like look. So we, um, you know, reuse the covers until they get poop on them, um, or until they get, you know, kind of saturated if we leave it too long or whatever. Um, and so that's been enough for about every two days we do the laundry when we're just using these. Um, these are the wipes that I showed in my um, sew and tell video. Uh, that was only a couple weeks ago that that actually got published. And I think I made 40 of these, and again, we've never run out of them. So pretty much we do the laundry when we run out of covers or run out of room in the pail. Um, uh, we've been using this Perry bottle that I got from the hospital for the wipe water, and it's just tap water. Um, super easy. There's a spare Snappy in here. There's It came in a three-pack, so she's using one. There's one in the diaper bag, and then there's one here. Then we've been using the Boudreaux's butt paste. The green bottle is the natural one. That's what they recommend. That is fine. It doesn't build up on the, uh, the diapers. And then also in here is the baby seed to fill little sample that came with, I don't know, one of those registry thingies and uh, been using that on some of her scaly, scabby, peely skin. Babies peel a lot, man. All right. So now that she's getting almost too big for these, we're going, we're sort of transitioning to using the pocket diapers. So actually, let me go down here first. Right now, we're mostly using the pocket diapers at night. So since this yellow color is so garish, um, I've decided that we've dedicated the yellow diapers to being the overnight diapers. So I use two inserts in there. These are Alva's. When we registered on Amazon, I registered for some of these. So we got two sets of this like neutral color set. Um, so we have double of each of these colors and a dozen total of these Alvas that came new. Um, so they each have two inserts. These are just the normal microfiber inserts they come with. And they actually each come with two, so we have extras. And those are stuffed in the back. These are some cup... Um, some disposable liners that we have not started using yet because she's still exclusively breastfed and that poop is water soluble you don't have to do anything to it. Here's some extra like freebie disposables that just needed somewhere to live and then some other stuff. We've got Tylenol, grape water, some extra 
spray bottles like this is the bottle I have a purple one that I have in the diaper bag that we just fill with water and use for wipe water and then this spray bottle we were using for wipe water until I got the peri bottle and I don't know I kind of either way either way works and oh this is baby sunscreen she's still too young for that too so here's the overnight diapers um, and double stuffing them has been it's worked really well for us um, it's been bulletproof so far and these like I said are just the Elvas they're super cheap um, I think if you buy it from their website, they're only like five or six bucks. It's for like prints, but these are the ones from Amazon. I think it was six dollars for, I'm sorry, six diapers for, I want to say like 40 bucks. But like I said, they were gifted to us. These ones are all single stuffed with just one insert. So these gray, white, and these blues, um, plus the yellows, those are the ones that came uh, from the gift. And then the rest I will identified by when and where I got them. So this guy is also an Alva, but it's not. It's like it's so many of the Chinese brands or whatever, they're all the exact same diaper, but with different branding. So this one is listed as a Happy Dharamji. I don't even know. Um, and I didn't realize at the time because I hadn't opened these yet, but I got this one and this one from a local mom and baby um, consignment shop. And they were like $7.50 each, which I think I realize now I'm probably overpaid for these two. Um, so this one's just exactly the same with the pocket and the, you know, it's exactly like the Elvis. This one, I am not sure exactly what it is, like what it's like, but it's got, um, I can open it. It also has the crossover snaps, but on the other side, and it has um, this, I don't know if it's charcoal or if it's just gray, but it opens on both sides and it's got the um, PUL in the front to stop leaks and whatever. And then it's a big pocket like this with the flap that covers it. I honestly kind of prefer the uh, opening with the just elastic straight like this because it's just one less thing to worry about being in the right place, having to worry about having this flap down in place. Um, I just kind of find annoying, but that's just me. Also from the consignment shop, also for $7.50, and these ones were a really good deal, are these Bum Genius. So I have one Elemental here. Um, I believe this is the E1 or whatever they call it, the original Elemental. You can see it's got the lining on the inside and the narrow insert. Um, and this one is great, pretty good, you know, like, I don't know, very good use condition, I guess. Um, and it fits really well. This one here is a 5.0, and it was like basically brand new when I got it from the shop also fits really well and yeah it just the elastic is really good and so it fits her very well these two are free times and the their elastic was not great so I'm actually in the process here of replacing the elastic see it's like completely out this is what it is like before I fixed it and it's uh, pretty loose so this is too big for her because of that so I'm fixing the elastic in both of these and then I'll be able to use them um, the, Three times have these tongue soakers so they're the all-in-one this tongue style all-in-one and then the latest additions to the collection are these seven in the back here um, these three are an older model of the Elvas and then these four are like a no-name brand but they're basically exactly the same as the Elvas like I was saying all the Chinese brands are all the same um, and so it's kind of nice to have some pink ones for a change. These seven I bought in a lot off Facebook for $23. So this works out to just over $3 a piece, which I think is a fantastic deal. Cause like I said, these normally retail for um, like five or $6 and they are in really good condition. So um, that pretty much rounds everything off. I was thinking this amount that we had was gonna be a little bit small. So I wanted to get some more. And I think with these seven added to the collection, um, we should be pretty good with how many we've got. And so between all of that, I think I have like 25 diapers, which we have, like I said, we haven't switched to using all pockets yet. Um, well, when I say pockets, I include like the all-in-one styles in there. All of these ones yet, we're still using the pre-folds when we can, but these are getting really snug because these newborn size uh, oh so cozies are designed for up to 10 pounds and that's about right she's about 10 pounds now and they are getting to be just about too small for her so we're still using these as much as we can want to get the best use out of them um, 
and then we'll retire those, have a little bit more drawer space. And I'm thinking that having the 25 of these, that includes the, um, the overnight ones, that that should be plenty. Um, we're doing laundry every two or three days right now, and that's going well for us. What we do for the laundry, I'm not gonna like go show you doing a load, because obviously they're all clean right now. We put everything in here. See, there's an overnight diaper from last night. Um, then every two or three days we put this, um, everything that's dirty in here in for a cold rinse with like half the amount of detergent you'd normally use, just a, a normal load. Um, and then once that's done, we throw in all of the dirty laundry, just, you know, clothes and burp cloths and swaddles and all of the baby laundry goes in here. That gets added to the diapers for the second load, which is a warm load with all of the detergent you need. And then, um, then we just throw it in the dryer and you just have to stuff the diapers. That's the, the new step. Over here is where we keep our wet bags and stuff. So that's pretty much the setup. So I wanted to show you our collection. I think we're pretty happy with what we have now. I mean, when I say we, I'm the one who's like doing all of the obsessive research and probably the most risk of accidentally buying stuff. But I think I'm happy with what we have now and um, I'm gonna be excited to, to use these as she gets a little bit bigger. And uh, that's, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have more questions about the cloth diapering and the routine and all of that, leave them below and maybe I can do another dedicated video to something about that. Um, but for now, uh, apologies if you watched the whole thing and weren't interested in it, then go do something you enjoy with your life. But uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.